Hello everyone, this is the OS Reviewer here. Today I'm going to be going over a quick overview of how Ubuntu 13.10 runs on the Dell Inspiron Mini 10V. So this is it here, currently running, well, Ubuntu 13.10 on the Dell Inspiron Mini 10V. Um, I'm pretty pre pleased with the, sorry, I'm pretty pleased with the way it runs. It seems to run fairly fast, but of course, due to the limitations of the, of the processor and RAM on this computer, it does struggle a little bit. If you have a look here, I'm just going to let the details, as you can see there is a bit of time waiting, but it, it's recognising it as 993.2 megawatts of RAM, it has 1 gig, so that is correct, with a Intel Atom CPU N280 at 1.66 gigahertz times 2, as it is a dual core processor. It has a Intel 945 GME x86 graphics chip, which is just the Intel HD, well not even HD, it's just Intel graphics. Yep, that's before HD. Uh, it's 32-bit OS, and I've given it 106.8 gigabytes of disk space, as this is dual booted with Windows. As you can see somewhere here. Where is it? There it is. That's the um, Windows partition. So yeah, you can see it's all set up. I'll go into the browser and show how fast slash slow that is. And I am running off Ethernet here, as you can see at the top there, but Wi-Fi does work properly. Everything works fine. Um, the audio. Yes, it's a bit slow. I'm hitting the toggle key here. Um, they're running off ex external speakers, that's why they're a bit louder than all. But they do work. It's just it can only do it one thing at a time. Um, I'm going to go to YouTube and let's load the first video we see. Maybe not the first video we see. What is the first video? Don't drink and drive prank. Okay then. Let's do awesome beat machine. Turn the volume down. Let's just see how this YouTube video loads. And you can see it loads alright, but of course this computer isn't very powerful. But still, it, it works. That's the main thing. The video is currently loading in 480p, which is the max for this video. Uh, it seems to be struggling a little bit with the graphics, but all in all, it's a lot better than it ever has done on Windows. And I'll pause that now. This machine does run Ubuntu fairly well. It runs it better than it ever did Windows, as Ubuntu does require a lot less resources than. Windows does, but I'm just going to go into the system resources thing here and show how much it's using. System monitor, that's it there. It's a bit fiddly sometimes. Uh, as you can see, it's file systems. I've used 5 gig. Uh, processors, so this is like task manager if you're not familiar with uh, Ubuntu, or well, Linux, but this is Ubuntu. Uh, resources, so as you can see, on idle it's using five percent, oh, about a fair bit of its CPU. <laughs> it keeps changing and fluctuating, so I can't really say that. Um, it's using 357 megs of RAM, 36 percent, which is a lot less than Windows likes to use. Windows would generally be about 800 to 900 megs of RAM which is quite a, a bit more. So all in all this does run really really well. It runs Ubuntu without an issue. It's a good second PC or a PC if you want to do something like just listen to some music from. It does that all really really well. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, everything works. It recognizes the battery. As you can see it's fully charged if I unplug it. It will go down to the time that's left on the battery. And I plug it back in and it'll say how much long unknown time. 
it should say how much longer is left till it's fully charged. I don't know why it's this unknown time. I haven't done that before. But yeah, all in all, Ubuntu works really well. So I'm just going to shut it down and uh, yeah, I like this. Ask you if you really want to shut down. Okay, I'm going to shut it down and uh, thanks for watching.